Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to another episode of 108 Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, a.k.a. Lemetheus, right hand of Zeus. And we're going to jump straight into this news. Ain't too much news today. But for you guys out there, let me tell you something. I got this game on PlayStation 4. It's an excellent co-op game for you guys that like that Call of Duty zombie type action. Killing Floor will be hitting the Xbox One on 828, August 28th, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Killing Floor 2, baby. Came from PC over to PlayStation and now it is on Xbox One. And you can team up with your buddies, shoot these goddamn zombies, and put your work in. And I got some great news for you Switch owners that's playing that goddamn Minecraft. When Minecraft came out, it was a 720p docked and a 720p on the go. It has officially be, been patched and you get 1080p while it is docked. I guess they needed a little bit more time over there at Microsoft to work on that. Now, this is big, and my daughter is going to be ecstatic. When she get home from Maryland, I'm going to let her know. Sims 4 will be releasing November 17th on that Xbox platform, baby. That is good news, because people are looking forward to them Sim games. And they haven't been on consoles in a hot minute since damn it. Oh, last generation. So, yeah, we'll be getting that. Now, for you NHL players out there, if you go to GameSpot.com right now, fill out this form, like their Twitter, join them on Instagram, like their Facebook, follow them on Twitter, you will get a beta code for NHL 2018. Now, you know... It's your boy. I always got the scoop, baby. Dudes don't even know about this. Yo, Fozzie, I've been trying to call you all day. Even left you a message. Call me back ASAP so you can get that information. Hopefully when this episode pop up for that ass, you can get involved. Because them dudes over there, they be playing five on five team games over there. My boy Fozzie Bear, shout out to him. Now, for you people wondering, is this going to be the last God of War game? Well, the director of the game says, hell no. We are writing multiple stories for sequels to this title. And as an avid God of War fan, that's been my avatar since the day PlayStation allowed to have avatars. Yes. God of War will be receiving sequels. So we're going to be going into PlayStation 5 and still playing goddamn God of War. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I took the Twitter the other day, and I see a lot of YouTubers going at it over Crackdown. Now, I don't know what stage Crackdown these betas are in, because one minute the game looked fantastic, next minute it looks like shit. Now, Microsoft, I have to say this. If you want people to jump on this game, because I know a couple of my homies used to play that goddamn game every day, you have to present this game in the best light possible. That means having experienced players play the game, first of all, to demonstrate what the game is about. Not no goddamn celebrities who look like they for fucking was playing off with, with thumbs. That shit was ridiculous. Come on, man. Come on. Let me take the controller for you and show you how it's done. Larry Herb, you should have been playing it anyway. Goddamn bozos out there didn't know what they was doing. Making the platform look like garbage. Let's hope that the final product, because at the end of the day, we know that got the Xbox Scorpio full textured out. But what we've been seeing ain't, ain't no goddamn Xbox X, baby. There ain't no Scorpio up in that motherfucker. That shit looks horrible. But that Terry Crews picture, now that looked like more like a current gen game with some 4K textures. As always, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so when I put up these episodes, you are on the same page as your boy Lemon. You are greatly appreciated and welcome to my new followers on Twitter. We're growing every day. I'd like y'all to share it, 
Let's get this community popping. And I'm out. Cheers.